gonna. I see me off in the. <laughs> <laughs> You just want me to add like a big explosion onto the background of that? It'll be perfect. I'm gonna. <laughs> you can stop worrying about grenades now. We did it, fellas! We finally did it! It only took 50 videos and 100 million views, but Ubisoft has finally acknowledged my existence and enlisted my help by sponsoring this video to do one thing and one thing only. Teach you how to Rainbow Six Siege. Stay with me, Bratuka! Which is pretty weird when you think about it, because three years ago when it came out, I made a video saying it was awful and that it was gonna fail. Oops. And now, three years later, myself and 35 million other people are addicted to it, and because it's grown so fast, Ubisoft is sponsoring me to teach you how it works. Life is weird, man. Get moving, double time. So fear not, new players. If you really want to learn what the game's all about, I got you, homie. I got you, homie. So there's never been a better time to put down the Battle Royale and pick up the next level tactical shooter from August 16th through the 19th, where the game is not only free to play for the whole weekend, but it's also available for a discounted price. And you can click the link in the description for more details. And just to put my money where my mouth is, I'm going to be teaching a special Battle Royale guest how to play the game in the upcoming weeks to show you that getting started in Rainbow Six is easy. Let's talk. We move out. I know plenty of you out there are already legendary at the game, and me going through a tutorial is a lot like me telling LeBron James how to dribble a basketball, but I'm gonna assume you're brand new because I have a no child slash player left behind policy. Your gear come with that polish? Rainbow Six Siege is a round based game of attackers and defenders. The attackers are trying to do something like rescue a hostage, defuse a bomb, secure an area, or murder all of the bad guys. Remember our objective. While the defenders are trying to stop them from doing that something by either killing everybody or letting the clock run out. My work is done. Time to pack it up. The game starts by selecting an operator for the first round, and there's currently 40 different operators to choose from. Some can smash shit open like Sledge, some can pass around Kevlar plates for added bullet resistance, and some are just gods in physical form. LMG! Mounted and loaded! Pick one, and you'll be thrust into a 45-second prep phase where the defenders get to reinforce walls, barricade doors and windows, and overall set up shop to make the siege of the attackers as difficult as possible. Ambush set. Stay clear. Wait, why is a highly trained counter-terrorist unit only given 45 seconds to prepare for an attack? That doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. And while this is happening, the attackers are given that same 45 seconds on drones to scout out the area and see what's in store for them once they spawn in during the action phase. Time to get serious! The action phase lasts three to four minutes when the attackers finally spawn in and enter the chess game that is Rainbow Six Siege. Because the beauty of the game is simple. Every game is different, yet every game is the same. Sure, what you're doing is the same in every game, rescuing the hostage, planting a diffuser, securing a room, but how you do it is completely up to you. Bullets are better than words. You can bust in the front door and rush the objective, you can rappel in from the roof and try to sneak in undetected, you can even hop reach through a window and overwhelm the bad guys with sheer speed and intensity. Bad guys in our way! It's all up to you. But remember, Rainbow Six is a game of operators, each with a unique ability or gadget that can help your team achieve victory in their own special way. A really big fucking hole coming right up. There are some things that all operators can do, like all defenders can reinforce walls with bulletproof barricades, board out doorways and windows, and access cameras to spy on incoming attackers. Just like all attackers have a nifty drone for scouting out rooms before they enter them and can rappel off walls to get in a better position. Move your asses. But what makes operators unique are the gadgets that only they possess and can utilize to gain an advantage over the bad guys, like Montaigne leading the charge with his bulletproof shield and Smoke being able to push him back with his toxic Gas. The toxic vibes are in position! This is what makes Siege feel fresh even three years after release, with a combination of five distinct characters going up against five other distinct characters. Every round feels different from the last. This will be fun. But there are 40 operators in the game now. How am I supposed to learn what they all do? Well, the short answer is time, but you can make it easier on yourself. Master the simple operators and then move on to the trickier ones once you feel comfortable. You're next! Uh,
On defense, I recommend Rook, or as he's commonly referred to, Lardex, given his beefy size that puts down trauma plates for each member of your team to put on that makes them slightly more bullet resistant. Time for some serious protection. Keep in mind that Siege has a super simple gunplay system, so the bullets hit where your reticle is placed, and it only takes one bullet to kill someone if you hit them in the head. That was easy. So although these plates may not make you bulletproof, they drastically help out your team and your job is done in like five seconds. Just throw down your duffel bag and you're done like dinner. Pass those plates around. Beef up your suits. Wait, Rook actually says beef up your suits? I had no idea this was a thing. I had no idea that beefy boy said beef up your suits. On top of that, his MP5 is one of the easiest guns in the game to use and is perfect for beginners. I bet I die to this thing more than any other gun. I won't let you down. I got him, I got him. This MP5K is a baller ass gun. Hey. Got her, headshot again. <laughs> God, this thing's good. On attack, I recommend Thatcher because the objective is usually littered with scary electrical shit like bandits' batteries, mutes' jammers, Capkin's traps, and all it takes is one EMP grenade to destroy all of it. Dossing EMP grenade. Device is going dark. Yup, you're just throwing a blue softball and shutting down anything that runs on batteries. Pretty friggin' neato. Is this a special ops team or a daycare? And he's got the easy peasy lemon squeezy L85, which just like the MP5, is a beginner's dream with the great stats and simple usability. <laughs> just like old times. Oh my god, that was such a nice move. That was a 1-2. Oh, breaking the board, headshot in the Valk, my goodness. Ow. Jaeger. Got him. Thermite is an operator with the amazing ability to bust open walls that are reinforced, but he oftentimes can't use his charge until Thatcher has disabled the electronics, preventing him from detonating it. I got you. Everything's gonna be okay. So remember that when it comes to operators, you're better together. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, we got him! The unstoppable Thatcher Thermite combo. A really big fucking hug coming right up. And what better way to make this teamwork happen than by playing with your buddies? So if you can find even one friend to join your squad, it'll make a massive difference. <sighs> Guys, I need to get my beans out. God. This dude actually eating beans, Out here eating bro. beans, bro. I had no idea that there was caliber-based destruction in the game, as in the bigger the bullet you fire at a wall, the bigger the hole it makes for you to peek through until my buddy told me. I had no idea that there were designated hatches that you could bust open to drop down to the next floor below you until a buddy told me. And I had no idea that accidentally killing the hostage as an attacker resulted in a loss until my buddy told me. Cluster charge activate! But you'll see what I mean if you try it out during the free weekend, because I can only tell you so much in a single video, and making your own mistakes is the very best way to learn. You can stop worrying about grenades now! And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching. One final thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video, and be sure to tune in next time when we try to teach Tachanka to a brand new player. That's gonna be a fun one. Yeah.